diagramming and, and scheming, but you actually see all the pieces out there and you can incorporate on the court. What's that like? For you? It, it's exciting uh, because, again, we do have a, obviously a talented group of guys, but they're good guys. Not only are they good guys, they work hard and they, and they want to win. And so, in a short amount of time, we've thrown a lot at them. Throwing all the stuff that, that we have at them to see them pick it up, understand it, feel it, execute it is just a testament to how intelligent the group is overall. And uh, yeah, couldn't ask for more. What have you learned in a chance to see them on the court and interact? What have you learned about this group? I, you know what? You're constantly learning every day. I don't know if there's any one thing that I can say that I've learned uh, in, that was new in general. Uh, it, it does amaze me every day that uh, just being around these guys, just to feel and see how intelligent they are, is, is a positive. It's a, it's a good thing because it is a very intelligent group. And, uh, you know, and then on top of that, like I said, man, they're working their tail off. I mean, today we shortened the practice, you know, by, by going three hours or close to three hours. But, uh, you know, but, you know, before that, we, 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 we've had some long practices. But uh, nothing past what we're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, with the, the caveat that it's, of course, it's been a couple of days, what sense have you gotten from Steve's leadership style and how he's on the court with these days? Steve Nash? Yes. No, he's, a, he's a natural leader. Uh, but, so I'm sorry, but he's, a, he's, a, he's more a quiet leader than a loud, rah-rah type leader. Uh, but you can tell everybody definitely respects him. He definitely has a great feel for the game. And uh, he understands uh, when and how much he needs to learn, too, or he knows how to listen just as much as he knows how to uh, teach.